So th three, two. Well, good evening. I uh, just wanted to uh, get rid of the last bits of. Um, I want to reassemble this and, and check to see how it's going. Uh, it should all be working. One would think so because we got uh, the voltages close. You know. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just plug in uh, the cable here. So let's be careful, just trying to, remember I had to turn this cable around because there was that, you know, the, whoever had been playing with it previously had broken one of the wires. So I'm just trying to carefully run it against um, what it had done previously. So it's, you know, it spent 30, 40 years or whatever bent a particular way. Uh, this really isn't working. Okay, so now I've got this cable on and you can see the, uh, you know, it's sort of an unnatural bend here because, you know, we're missing this little piece here. But if you turn the cable around, it turns out that this guy is connected to a non-connected pin. So, you know, I can get away with not having it uh, connected. So now we're in, let's actually just plug in. So now power's all set up, so we should be able to power this on if I had uh, plugged in the mains. Okay, so here we have it. it's turned on and you can see that now I'm getting some signal there, so let's try just changing the frequency and we'll try 12 uh, megahertz. Yep. So try amplitude of, you know, say zero uh, dBm. Okay. Okay, so that seems to sort of imply that the system is working. Um, so I'm going to see if I can hook it back in and we'll get a look to see if we can um, try out some of these, uh, try out the, um, uh, the signal generator and just see if it actually is producing a signal. So let me hook this stuff up and then we'll be right back. Okay, well, we've got it all back together. Uh, drink of choice this evening is a uh, Jack and Coke. If we uh, take a quick look uh, around the side here, you'll see that I have this um, SMA cable. If I have a, I should have an 18 inch SMA cable somewhere around here, but I'll be buggered if I can find what I've done with it. Uh, anyway, let's uh, turn this puppy on. And here we go, we've got one meg. So let me go and I'm gonna, hook this in on my uh, 53131A and so I don't really have a great way of, of showing this so I'm just going to have to sort of lift the, uh, the unit up. Um, what I can see up here is that it's not, uh, I'm not getting anything. So. No, nope, still not getting it. Well, that was, I'm never going to get anything. This does uh, 75 and 50 ohms, so we want to make sure we're on the 50 ohm uh, thing. Oh, of course, I haven't set the, the amplitude is going to be uh, 89, you know, 87 dB down. So let's just set that for 0 dBm. Here the clock, and here we go. You know, you can see that. It's getting, uh, excuse the crudity of this. But uh, you can see that uh, that's not too bad for one megahertz uh, coming up there. So let's set uh, 10 megahertz. Oh, I'm uh, still on frequency here. So let's say amplitude of zero dBm. Let's set frequency of 10 uh, megahertz. One zero megahertz. And you can see that uh, you know, it's gone and 
you know, it's becoming a little bit, uh, instead of, uh, you know, in the tens of millihertz, it's now in the hundreds of millihertz. So, you know, it's scaling up uh, correctly, but it's still not too bad for something that isn't uh, warmed up on, you know, an oven that's uh, not great. Uh, you know, the oven's good, but the oven isn't warmed up either. Uh, let's try, uh, let's try frequency of 80 megahertz. Oh, eight. Frequency of eight zero. The buttons are a little bit dodgy. Um, yep, I'm getting 80 megahertz uh, up there. So now the other thing to, to check um, is to see how accurate the output of the unit is. So let's hook it up to one of my 89 to my 8902A, and uh, we'll see what we're getting out in terms of uh, of that output. Okay, so now I have my uh, I have my little uh, 11722A. Let's uh, grab uh, a couple of little adapters. And so what I'm going to go do is just put this uh, BNC adapter into my power sensor. And then we're going to connect this guy to here. Now that we've got that, uh, I can go and uh, do the piece of work on the, uh, the Adi 9028. Okay. Okay, so here we are, we're all hooked up. Now I have um, a 10 meg signal coming out. So let's take a look at uh, what the RF power of that is. And, you know, given that I'm running through a, like a little connector, some BNC cable, you know, coming out at zero dBm, I'm sort of okay with that. Let's try a, a little lower, let's say minus 20. We're almost bang on, you know, minus 20. So it looks like from the level perspective, this thing is pretty, you know, could be pretty accurate. Uh, frequency wise, you know, if I go and select, oh, it's like frequency of one megahertz. Oh, those keys need working. We'll see one megahertz there. So that's, uh, that's actually you know, pretty good in terms of, uh, uh, of what I should be expecting to see. So if we go to 80, and now this I should be able to go uh, 1.234567, and so let me, I, I think, um, just have the little slide here, I think it's, uh, this is special 7.1, so yeah, so it's uh, 7.4 special, and that should give us the, um, the one megahertz, uh, the one hertz uh, resolution. So I'd set this to uh, 1.234567 megahertz. And there we go, 1.234567 megahertz. So the last thing that I want to take a look at is just to see whether this uh, ripple on the power supply uh, rails. Okay, so there we are. We're in on channel one there. So let's just AC. Well, before we do that, let's uh, set the probe to, to it'll be, t uh, do I have it set at 10 times or? Yeah, so the probe's set at 10. Okay. And so if we look at the uh, cursors that we have there,
That's going to give us... All right, so we're getting 16 volts. Let's step open the... Uh, it's ASIC. Let's get rid of those cursors. Okay, come back in here. We'll throw this onto ASIC coupled. We'll set our uh, bandwidth limit to 20 megahertz. And then we'll step up the... And then step the... That's pretty good. Doesn't look like there's any ripple at all, uh, or very much at all on that. Uh, there's a little bit, but you know, given the age of these caps, I would have expected more. And now we're on the next one. And then the next one after that. Overall, I think that uh, those caps are probably good. So, thinking about uh, next steps and coming back. So, thinking about next steps, I need to take a look uh, as to why I can't bring that uh, 15 volt up. But um, it looks like... Uh, I'm, getting pretty uh, reasonable results. It looks like the unit is basically working. And there's just some uh, weirdness in that, uh, that power supply. So uh, I'm going to declare this uh, fixed with uh, some minor polishing uh, needed to be done uh, moving forward. Anyway, I hope you uh, uh, found this interesting. Uh, if you did, give me the, the thumbs up. Uh, and uh, I'll catch you again uh, in the next one. Get to clear off the desk here. All right, catch you again later. Bye.